Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Hund. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. Today, we're gonna start our long track up to uh, Lake Acuity. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain. Don't know why Strength Rock is here. You know what? Let's push it aside. Maybe there's an item just hidden behind it. Is that the case? No. Also, my honey trees are all shaking, so I should probably go check those out, but I'm not going to. Uh. Here's our area of Mount Cornet. Uh, we've actually been in this one before, because this is the one that uh, leads to Eternal City. There's a star piece. Uh, here's another item. Escape rope. Alright, this one. I never figured out what this boulder does, because... Alright, if you go like this... You can go like that, but obviously you can't pass that way. So, I really don't know what gives. Right, up here. The end that has been, uh, daunting us since the start is Rock Polish, which none of my teamers can learn. Can, can we all, like, sing it along at this point? Because that's been kind of the trend for this uh, playthrough. Also, as you can see, uh, I got a Tropius now. Instead of, uh, the usual uh, Big Bird slash Butter slash possibly the Scun Tank. Uh, this thing has Fly and Strength, Rock Smash, and Defog, which I'm going to need here. Well, I'm not going to need it, but it's certainly going to make my life a whole lot easier if I have it. So, using Defog because why not? Alright. Okay, so... Let's just... Use Super Repel. That rock looks really awkward in the water there. It just looks really off. Oh well, uh... I'm going to just, uh... Casually use the, uh, good rod here. I'm gonna see if I can fish anything interesting up. Mm, not even a nibble. I reeled in too quickly. Oh, I didn't realize I was doing that. Oops. That was my bad. Really? Come on. Go, we landed a Pokemon. And it's a Magikarp. Alright, uh I'll try somewhere else for a little bit. Though me saying that I'm gonna try it somewhere else is probably already uh giving it away, because there is a certain little Pokemon here that uh appears only in this body of water, in this cave. It's not Barboach. <sighs> it is another third gen Pokemon, though, and one that I spent plenty of time looking for in the... Uh, back in Emerald, so that's what I'm not gonna do it now. There's Feebats here. I will show me finding one. I will not show me... hunting down... its children. Blue Shard in the wall. Sweet. Is my repel still going, or did it run out? I don't ran out when I entered this room, but now I don't know if there's still one up or if I'm going without one. Are you sick of seeing that Tropius pop up? It sure has popped up a lot. Soft Sand, which produced a pair of crime type moves, but I think the Quick Claw is, uh, Serve me a little better. And over here, simple strength rock. Revive. It's a fine and dandy. So I am done there, I see that, but I'm gonna go over here first, because I my item senses are once again tingling. No, not a good rot. See what this is. Four 
floor store. Is that our first one? I don't think we got many floor stores. Actually, I think Amber might have been picking them up. I love this deep blue color, but actually it looks kind of greenish. And you can't pick that up. Actually, it looks really nice. Uh, those heal all your PP on single Pokemon. So that's always good. Light Clay. If I had something with a freckle light screen, that would be good, because that boosts the amount of turns those last. It's kind of similar to the Heat Rock in that sense. Except for returning light screen, obviously. Alrighty. I think that's it for now. Okay, I'm not actually going to be looking for Feebass here. I'm going to be doing playing that off screen, because again, I am going to use it in the Pokedex. Or, I, I'm going to need it for the Pokedex. Okay, nothing there. We're probably we're off, but we're... I was going to say we're almost out of this cave, so maybe I can manage it, but this Clefairy had to be a butt and show up. Damn you, Clefairy. Actually, I don't know if there's a new Pokemon in here, so... Even if there is, I probably won't be encountering it, but... I can pick up a Nevermelt Eyes. It's boost light type moves. Nothing spectacular. Let's see, one more encounter. No, it's just a Graveler. I don't know, I'm not gonna worry too much about, uh... Finding the other Pokemon that's in here, because we'll be going through areas that have them for sure later. So, uh, Route 216 is a snowy route. I believe this was the first real snowy route in the series, so... It's cool. I liked it a lot. I still like it now. And it has some new Pokémon on it. Such as Snover! I wasn't actually expecting it to show up, but... Hey, what do you know? There it is. So I think it might be the only new Pokémon on this route. Uh, its evolved form is found in the wild later, but it's not right here. I think ice resists itself, grass is weak to it, so uh, this should be neutral. Don't kill it, please. I mean, it's seven levels lower, but... Critical hit! Let me find another one. See what else is here. Such as Zubat. No joy. That's what I wanted to see. Alright, well... Go away, you. Nobody likes your style. Nobody particularly cares for your stylings. Another one, really? Don't tell me Snover was rare. So again, I found one immediately. I'll try one more. It shouldn't be rare, though. And I shouldn't have trouble finding them, because I'll be going through grass plenty of times more later, but here it is. It looks insanely cross-eyed and blind them. I don't know what, what its deal is here. Ice Shard is uh, Ice Type Quick Attack. It's a pretty cool move. Lol, was a pun. No, it wasn't. It actually wasn't. Ready? Yeah, I can definitely take another one. Unless I get another freaking crit. Also, yeah, it's uh, healing everywhere here, but using our leftovers, we can. Uh, Sort of counteract that a little bit. Alrighty. Eh, yeah, okay. How to go in for the capture? Hit by the hill. Pain in my ass, but oh well. And Pokeball, go. 
One, two, three. There we go. Or at least it was cooperative being caught, so. There we go. I believe the last Sinnoh Pokemon that is from a new uh, evolutionary line. Not gonna give you a nickname. And here we have a full heal. There's guys up there, but we won't be uh, dealing with them for a little while. Here's our first trainer. To be ready to answer any call, to be ready to accept any challenge. Challenge! That is the way of a trainer. And Stinko Man. Alright, Maria, who has a Golduck. They really kind of wish I had something to deal with that, but I don't. I don't actually know why I'm leading with Gumi. I legitimately don't know. Oh, you just with my tail glow. How dare you. Not that it matters. Actually, let's see how much uh, leftovers heals. Does it heal just as much as the redder does? Yeah, okay, it does. I know leftovers heals for a sixteenth of your health, so I guess that's how much uh, weather does. Okay, confusion, not a very threatening move. Goldock is not a very threatening Pokemon, though, so. Should be expected. Ready. Let's see Surf. Get rid of this mallard. Actually, I don't know if there's a difference between ducks and mallards. Or what subspecies of them they are. Whatever. Rapid Ash. I can deal with that. Yeah, 39? I didn't think so. Well, a wisp. That's just kind of rude. Oh well. Even though these things got will wisp. I guess they're TM then. It's kind, of, it's kind of weird how will o wisp was the only move to directly inflict burn. There's no fire type move that does that. Well, okay, will o wisp is a fire type move, but it's. Kind of like it's kind of related to ghosts mostly. Sudowoodo, you're not going to be any problem for me, especially because I'm at plus two, and your special defense is nothing to write home about. And my special attack is, as I mentioned, through the roof, and you to serve. So goodbye. Turn around. Oh yeah, eat snowball, punk. Okay, that's actually pretty funny to imagine. Found a revive. And is there an item over here? No? That's just kind of smart though. I know you're down there, trainer, but... I didn't beat you. I'm an elite battler with Cold as my nemesis. Okay. And why did you go in here, Blake? And a palm. Yeah, I've I've had one of those for way longer, and it's way higher level. So. Screw this, Amber Palm. You're not Amber. Like how Amber is just not really a seventh member of the team, but is just referred to often enough to uh, be sort of relevant. She hasn't made an on screen appearance other than just being in the box, but. Well, it's because I don't really need her very much. Can I outspeed this thing? No, because it uses U turn. And it did kill me, okay. Maybe be a jerk, what are you gonna send that? Porygon 2! Alright, that's just asking for it, man. You're asking for it. You 
freaking poser. Linux kick its ass. Well, no one hit him. Ooh, signal beam. That's that's a real good one right there. I can't hold that for long enough without killing my voice. Yup, that's what I thought. Good job, Linux. You prove who the true Porygon 2 here is. Porygon true. And Bapom, uh... Let's have a monkey fight. I have to say, wrenches like fangs in that animation are kind of terrifying looking. I don't know, I don't like that. Smack a monkey in the face. And move on with our lives. I'd be like, but how? Am I weak bad battling too? No, I'm just better. I thought there was only two patches of grass, I guess it was wrong. Hello, Sneasel. Uh, Sneasel does have an evolution, but we won't be getting it for a while. Nor am I gonna catch this thing on screen, because they're common enough for me to not worry about them. I will have to do a lot of catching off screen, but... Nothing that I need to worry about right now. Which is why it's stuff for off screen, because I don't need to worry about it. Makes sense, doesn't it? Alright. I'm fully kitted up and equipped. Anytime we'll be fine. Alrighty. So, Laura has Tropius. Kind of don't have a choice here, but I think I might have questioned it. I'm carrying a Tropius with me right now. Not that I can use it. Let's try our Fire Blast. I'm expecting good results here, Wrench. Do not disappoint. You did not disappoint. Good job. There we go. Huh? I like to imagine, like... Obviously, it's not custom for that battle, but it it really worked well there. Are you a novice or on mid level? Well, what if I tell you that I'm a freaking pro at everything? Well, not everything. Hello, Sneasel. You're owned by somebody named Edward. I can't think of anything to say about that. Well. You are also four times weak to fight it, which means this will kill you. Hooray for type matchups! And wrench grid level 40, sweet. Meets gear Edward. Here is a little healing hut, house, hut, hut. Yahoo! This lodge has seen better days, but relax, pick yourself at home. Uh, it looked fine, actually. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. Um. Uh, blah, 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 sticks. And possibly stones. Let's play for keeps, this isn't practice. Okay. Garrett, who has Mr. Mime. Alright, are you gonna be a butt and set up screens, or am I gonna be able to sucker punch you to death? Hey, do I know my do I know my Pokemon or do I know my Pokemon? As much as I wish I or, 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 as much as I wish he didn't do that. Oh, really? Oh, right. Okay, now, Mi Mimic allows the Pokemon to actually learn the move for the remainder of the battle. For a second, I thought it was gonna use... Uh... It was gonna use Sucker Punch immediately and Sucker Punch me before I could use Shadow Ball. That would've pissed me off, but... 
No, I guess he wastes his turn. Cypher! Can always refer to that. Uh, Shadow Ball's fine, I think. Ooh, that's neutral, I think. That's. Yeah, critical hit, damn it. What do we have to deal with Scyther? I don't really have a rock type move. I kind of want uh, Terra to have one eventually, but I don't yet. Let's go for Lunox. New Swarm. I'm not going to really be using that though. It's going to rain down a Thunderbolt on him. How can I rain something down here? It's hailing. Okay, no, stop. It's weird how it, there's no, like, snow. It's just literally hail. Dust clubs. Uh, don't think we've seen one of those. Sad that Styx is on the round, because this would have been a good matchup for Styx. Dust clubs evolved from a Dust Skull, which we've seen before in this game. We've seen not uh, Dust clubs in. The third gen games to, as well, though, so whatever. It's cool looking, though. I like it. It's. Uh, I don't know. I just really like its design. I don't know what about it makes me like it so much, but it's just a cool Pokemon. It also has an evolution, which is why it's in the Sinnoh decks. I th like, basically, everything they added to the Sinnoh decks has a new evolution. Uh, the exceptions, I want to say, are. Houndour and Houndoom, which they added because they needed more fire types in general. Uh, Swablu and Altaria. I'm not really sure why those were added. Uh, I guess just for variety's sake, add more dragons. Which you basically only had Garchomp, I think. So yeah, I guess I guess that's dragon variety right there. And then uh, Scyther and Scizor. Discharge uh, is 80 base power. It hits multiple opponents, so in that sense it might be useful in double battles, but from here on out, I don't think we'll be doing enough double battles for that to really matter. There's one that I can think of later on that where it might be useful, but here, no. Alright, uh, I can basically just make sure I don't encounter like, anything anymore, because, uh... It's basically just gonna be Sneasel. Which is not anything that I'm interested in. Yep. Let's go rest. There's a trainer... up ahead. Just spray repel. Which is kind of a waste because, uh. Yeah, this is basically the last grass for a really long time. So 217 and random melee all of a sudden. Oh, Kevin! Oh, um, you may be on your way to Snowpoint City. That's where I'm going too. I can use Fly, I can get there instantly, but I'm walking for my training. I have no problem with this. I'm used to the cold because I go barefoot and lightly dressed. Achoo! Oh, that was nothing, really. I'm not cold at all. Where are you going now? Please take care. Also, I like how she clearly passed by this trainer, passed his line of sight, and didn't have to fight him. Are gym leaders exempt from that rule? If so, bullshit they are. Hello, I like the buzz. I can't actually catch you yet. Which is kind of disappointing, because your evolution's cool, but I won't be using it in this game, and besides, I use an Electabuzz and Fire Red, but I don't want to use another one here. I don't think poor Volts could take it. Oh my god. This thing is a lot more durable than I thought it was. Sucker Punch. It has the same base power, so I doubt it will kill it, but... Okay, that was a critical hit, so I don't know if it actually would have had lower physical defense. I don't remember what, uh, Foltz's weaker stat was. 
Magmar. Should have seen that coming. Despite us being, uh... That pretty much the opposite of the very heart of the volcano itself. But, alas. Oh, man. Sticks, you're kind of dying a lot. Alrighty, uh... Let's go for... Old Gumi here. Surf. And... There we go. So here we are. Okay, we're at level 40. And we beat this guy. And we're gonna end off here. So with that, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys the next time when uh, we're gonna go up Route 217 and uh, hopefully reach Snowpoint City, or at least like Acuity, whichever one comes first, which is like Acuity, but whatever, I'm trying to do my house right here. Just stop arguing with me, voices in my head. Anyways, uh, for now, I say goodbye.